Hi, this is Nathan, your Neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. We're going to be reviewing Pirates of the Caribbean by Stern Pinball today. Uh, please look for a review underneath our YouTube video uh, under the description, as well as like and follow us on Arcade and Pinball Talk under groups on Facebook, Arcade Pinball Talk on Instagram, and click that red button, be a bull. You know you want to hit it, do it now. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? So right out of the gate, a parrot's life for me, huh? I like it. Got a ring to it. Sounds great. I mean, you got the theatrics of Pirates of the Caribbean going on. I see why people talk about this table. Obviously, this is the older Stern table. Jersey Jag just came out with a newer one, and they both seem to be very good setups. I mean, uh, this table has uh, basically, as far as table mechanics and layout, paddle gap isn't too bad. Uh, you have roughly three ramps to the left. Actually, all of them have blocks on the tips of them, which make the shots a little bit harder, as you just saw there. And that middle ramp is lit up orange right now. This is jackpot. That is a dead man shot. So you go up that ramp, and if you don't have the speed to go up there and hit that, it comes right back on you right down the middle. Kind of kills you a little bit. Anyway, uh, you know, table mechanics toys, you got a treasure chest, a ship uh, that moves on this thing. So it's set up pretty good so far. Sound bites are there. Table speed is pretty quick coming back at you, obviously, uh, you know, from the blocks that are on the end of the ramps. But let's talk about those ramps. The top left one, uh, which is Port Royale, uh, that is a moderate to high level ramp there. So you got to have quite a bit of ball speed to get up there. Uh, you have some other ramps to the right, which uh, aren't as difficult. Uh, but all in all, you know, really table play so far, I would say moderate difficulty. Not necessarily super hard by any means, but uh, it does make it difficult. That's a for me. But yes, I see the draw to this game. It's definitely got the theatrics and the theme to it. Uh, I will say the ball does bounce on this game. You know, you'll, you'll find games that have different aspects to them, but that, that block that is on that right ramp that's Jack the Monkey, uh, you hit that, it's angled just enough to where it will shoot up and hit the table, which I don't know if you heard that on the video or not, but it hit it pretty hard. Theme is there. Artwork is great. We got a compass and it looks great. There it goes again. Just hit the table again for the second time. That just shows you the the ball speed on this game is very high. And uh, with that being said, that ball hit ball hits those blocks. I mean, it could bounce. They could bounce up and hit the table. Uh, replayability on this game is going to be there. Fun factor, I would say, is there. If you're a Pirates of the Caribbean fan, you're going to love this game. I mean, it, it's it's delivering. I mean, it's actually a really good one. Go ahead and hit the parlay up there. Very nice. Very fun game. We got into the treasure chest, so we'll see what happens. There we go, got the ramp. There we go. Very nice, fun game. Fun factors there, graphics are there, soundtrack is there, sound bites are there. It's it's a good game. It delivers pretty much on all fronts. Should this game be bought for personal use versus in route, like going out and trying to play it? Well, you know, we like to kind of talk about that a little bit. I'd say if you're a Pirates of the Caribbean fan, this is one of those games that would definitely be worth having in your house. Uh, it's a good route game, obviously, because, uh, you know, the ability and the frequency to ball out on it due to the table speed and the, the difficulty is there. So I would say that, yeah, this would be a good one to have at your house if you have the opportunity. I'm sure that's why there's the draw of the Jersey Jack pinballs right now for Pirates of the Caribbean. People are putting those in their homes too. It's just the draw of Pirates of the Caribbean. It's such a story. It's great. You know, it's 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 just it's just all that you would expect it to be. But anyway, please look for a review under the description of our YouTube video as well as like, follow us, and subscribe. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as on YouTube. Click that red button. Thank you again for watching today, and we look forward to our next video.